Well, the question that was raised by, by Jean-Claude Trichet was basically to what extent all the financial sector reforms that uh, had been uh, applied or at least agreed, whether they were sufficiently uh, they were sufficient to make the, the, the whole banking system or the financial system in general uh, fully resilient. And what I tried to, to answer, and my main message were, well, of course, well, I tried first to summarize uh, the content of those uh, reforms, that indeed they have increased, according to different metrics, the resilience of the banking uh, system. But of course, that this uh, depends, and this assessment depends very much on a full implementation of these reforms uh, in the following years, because some of them are still uh, pending to be implemented. That it is also crucial that the super micro supervision uh, of uh, the banking system is done in a very rigorous way. Um, and still, we have uh, to accept that uh, the, we need to do evaluation of all the, the reforms in order to uh, achieve to the proper conclusions in order to answer to the question that was raised by, by Jean Claude. Um, at the same time, I was also putting an emphasis uh, to try to avoid the regulatory cycle. This has happened in the past, that the uh, regulatory rules uh, were to, to a certain extent uh, diminished uh, before when the, the cycle was, uh, was booming, and we should uh, avoid this. Uh, uh, this is a very important message that I wanted to send. And then uh, finally, of course, that the Basel Committee will not only look to the, to the, the reforms that had uh, already been approved, but also will look to uh, the, the risks that are emerging, trying, of course, uh, to draw uh, policy conclusions in order to mitigate them accordingly.